Hello, my comics and comic cats. Yes, it is I, the Capcom Vic, bringing you guys and gals another quick video. As you all know, my tech videos are straight to the point, so here we go. Let's get on with the video. As you can see here, unfortunately, I have become man stuck in floor, as you can see. And for some weird reason, I am in the floor, even though I don't know why. I can still pick up my torch and shine and stuff and go, woohoo, I'm in the floor. And you can look down and see all the level. But obviously, this is not correct. I don't want to be like this. I can't play the game like this, which I probably could if I wanted to, but I don't really want to do that in VR. And this is on Quest 2. So if you've got a Quest 2 or any Quest and you're playing Steam VR and you've got a Steam VR app open, then this is how you can fix such things where you might be in the floor or you might be too high and you can't touch the floor. This is what you do. All you basically do is you come over here and you go to the computer. You want to be bringing up your Steam VR, as you can see here, the Steam VR, this is 1.24.6. And you can see I'm playing a game called Safe Zone VR, if you're interested in horror games. This is a cool game. All you do is come over to the free lines here, you press them, and then you go down to where it says Developer, and then another pop-up, go to Developer Settings, and it'll bring up this pop-up for developer settings. The one you want to look at is this one here. You want to choose the room and tracking. So I'm in a small space. And then you want to quick calibrate. Now, in order to quick calibrate, any gamer you can do this while in game as I am now, is you need to put your headset off of your head onto your floor. So put it down, set it down onto the floor, then hit quick calibrate, which I'm going to do now because obviously once I take my headset off, you'll not be able to hear me. But uh, I'll be back just a tick. So put your headset down. There we go. So I've hit quick calibrate on the screen. Now put your headset back on. Okay. And then I can go straight back into the game. Switch back to VR. And there you go. As you can see now, I am the correct height to what I should be, and I can touch the floor, look. I can put my controllers down on my floor, and I am touching the floor. So no more am I having an issue, and it's tracking my hands now because obviously I've put down my controllers. How cool is the hand tracking? The hand tracking is pretty decent. And then you can go down here, and you can grab. That's it, grab. Paused a little bit. And you can walk around, as you can see, without actually having your controllers in your hand. I obviously prefer controllers because controllers are more responsive. But I can now pick up this torch. I had a big problem with this because I was trying to pick up the torch in a previous time I was going to stream this game. And I couldn't do it because I was my, the lowest I could go was there. And I was on my knees. I was touching the floor. And that's as low as I could go. So being able to pick up a torch, you, I wasn't able to do that. I was only able to stare at my torch and not pick it up. And obviously that is a problem. If you're playing any Steam game, you can do this easily. Now, there's been a lot of tutorials out there. I know obviously a lot of them are a good few years ago. And that's the reason why uh, this has not been spoken about. But after all the tutorials I've seen, it's annoyed me so much seeing that I can't play my favorite Steam games because I couldn't touch the floor or couldn't interact or I was 12 foot tall. And it's like, what the hell is going on? So that's how you fix it. So just to briefly go through it one more time with you, just in case anyone didn't get what I was on about. So just bring up the Steam VR. Now I'm using Virtual Desktop here in Quest 2. If you're not, you just need to go to your PC and do this instead, instead of obviously doing it here on Virtual Desktop. I do recommend trying out Virtual Desktop. It's a great application and I am completely wireless, completely wireless, no wires at all. And it just runs absolutely superb. It's one of the best things and one of the features I would always recommend. You would need to download Streamer on your PC and you just get the Virtual Desktop directly from your Quest 2 and get it from the store on there and then you can go in and use your PC without actually being at your PC. So once again, press these three lines, go down to developer, developer settings, and then choose and quick calibrate. Just make sure that once you press quick calibrate, your headset is already on the floor and then you pick quick calibrate. Now in terms of sitting, I know there is another feature for sitting, but I've not actually figured out if you can particularly do it in this particular game itself because this one is one where you would need to stand. But there is a reset seated position 
I don't know if that works. I've tried it a couple of times and it's not done exactly what I wanted it to do. So maybe something where you might have to play about with it a little bit, maybe to get you a correct height. Um, I'm not sure how you would correctly do that, but there is other games where you can choose to be seated rather than obviously having it the way with this particular game intends you to do, which is obviously to stand and not to be seated. That's just generally how this game is. This is the way that this game works. In order to play, they want you to play it stood and not seated. Anyway, hope this helps you out. If it does, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. It really does help. If you want to go that a little bit further, though, you can actually go a little bit further. Hit the join button. It's just one ninety nine per month, and it actually gives me free, gives you, not me, but you, free access to emotes, badges, and obviously to giveaways and stuff and all that good stuff in the future that will be happening, obviously, for my elites, as I call them, for my elite convicts, for the boys and elite convicts for the girls. And you can join in. And like I said, it's just one ninety nine. As most of us, you would be probably expected around about four ninety nine. So I definitely recommend. And obviously, it will help in the future as well towards charity stuff and things like that, as I like to do as well. Anyway, it is I, the Cup Convict, signing out. As always, I salute you, my convicts and convicts and my elites. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick tutorial. And yeah, there you go. That's how you fix it. Just use that free lines, developer, Developer settings, reset, choose the room, and away you go. Anyway, thank you very much, and bye for now.